ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाकटेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ए पी डब्ल्यू एम वेब फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग इज द सिमुलिंग सो वी विल गो टू द कंपोनेंट मोड वी विल टेक अवर पिक एटीन ए फोर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर After it, we need to take our power take, which is MClear VPP, and which which needs to be connected with MClear VPP enable pin. It will enable our microcontroller. After it, we need to take our oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. We can connect its two terminals to C1 and C2 because both the pins are. PWM enabled. We can just take PWM waveform on C1 and C2. Now we will go towards our code, and here we have written our code. But uh, in order to understand it properly, I will start from start like new and new project. Here you need to click on next PWM zero and this and yes, okay. Okay now, okay now this is our new. Now here I will paste my code. This is a very very simple code, but you can still see the errors. So we need to click on U word, no not U word, but P W M. So it will. This library will be helpful in order to run the code. Okay now. We simply has declared the or initialized this port C as input uh, sorry output by equalizing it to zero. Then PWM underscore init init is the initialization of the PWM two pin. While one is the forever loop, which means it will execute again and again. Then PWM to start is our like uh, starting function. Uh, it is a part of initialization, you can say. Then PWM to set duty. Now, what is this function? Whenever we given the 68 as a parameter, it means that this function will produce a PWM waveform in which 68% of the cycle is on. Like 68% is the duty cycle. You can say percentage because out of 100, 68 is 68% time it is on and rest it is off. Then 78% on and rest off. Then 38% and then 48%. Okay, now we will run it. 000 and okay, and this and this and save and equal and this. Okay, now we will run our run our circuit and it is like uh, okay. We we need to burn the file as well. So it is this PC G. Alper and echo dot hex. So it is our hex file. So okay, now you can see that we have we got our pulse width modulated waveform on C2. I think, yeah, here you can see that first you will see a staining duty cycle, like uh, you can see here. Okay, like wait so that we can see both the circuit and duty cycle. So, okay, here first it will become 78, then 68, then 48, and then 30. Okay, you can see the changing. Okay, 38, 48, and then okay. Like this, first it will become 68, 78, 38, and 48. It is 78. This is 38, the smallest one. Okay, so in this way, you can produce the what's called as the PWM waveform, and you can even use it to drive a servo motor or any other DC motor control or any other thing like a 
some demo or anything like that so hopefully you got the concept regarding pwm waveform generation within the proteus so thanks for visiting our channel